and uh, Rob wants to talk about uh, American voting. Hello, Rob. Hey, how are you doing, Paul? Beautiful. Um, quick question for you, because obviously in Iowa to today, they're going to be uh, the Democrats are fighting over who's going to be the pre-selected candidate mm -hmm. to fight against Trump. Um, who do you think is best suited to go up against Putin and Xi Jinping and uh, uh, Kim Jong Un when it comes to the Democrats? Is it is it Biden? Is it Warren? Is it little you know Joe? It's a great question. Um, that's a really good question and one that I shouldn't have to answer under this time pressure. Um, but I think, uh, look, uh, you automatically want to say Biden because he has the experience at it. But Bloomberg. You, but you, you need. I like the idea of the disruptor. I like the idea of the disruptor and what Trump's been able to say. You say Bloomberg. What do you say? Oh, no, I think Biden's the only viable candidate on the Democratic side, really. Yeah. Well, they're all and, going to lose to Trump. Well, anyway. I know, but, like, mm. you, you put Jeremy Corbyn in the Democrats and see what happens. Like, mm. that was the biggest defeat the Labor Party had in 80 years. Yeah. Would the Democrats like to repeat that experience? Well, it feels like part of them wants to. Of course they do, because they'd rather lose nobly than win ugly. Yeah. Well, also, this is the fascinating thing. Thank you for the call. Is that This is what's fascinating about the Bernie thing, right? If Bernie gets sort of big enough but can't win, then his sort of grouping, which is statistically relevant to get up and over the top, they just go, I'm out. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, Bernie Sanders and the young vote. I mean, Sanders himself is what, going to be in his 80s by <laughs> yeah, the end yeah. of this term of, of government? But it's four more years for Trump, right? Uh, at this stage, it looks like it. Yeah. I think Biden can beat him. But I don't think that Sanders can beat him, and I don't think Warren could beat herself. No, not as a Warren. I just love Warren West. She's got a plan. The nine-year-old trans kid's going to pick the, oh. uh, the, the uh, just the pandering. The pandering of that politician is ludicrous. Do you think it's four more for Trump? I don't think there's any doubt. Uh, he's, he's polling better now. I think he was polling at what this time in the, at the first election, about 36 primary. Uh, first cut, I think he's sitting on about 45 now. Good. So, and the economy is the best it's been in and 20 years. Yeah, correct. God actually, he's got it right. He's actually delivering what he promised. It's, and he's delivered in all directions, in right? All the directions. cultural conservatives, the security conservatives, all the different people, let alone the, well, fiscal conservatives, not quite yeah, extra well, trillion. But that's the problem where you just look at the other way. How much does Australia owe now? $2.5